this, yeah, <laughs> this is living. This is what it's all about. First real trip of the season. Oh man. Beauty. I'm here with Joe on day one of our canoe trip. We're trying to get into some small lakes over the hills here. Should be a real adventure. Aaron and I started out this route last fall. Cleared the first portage into the first lake, which looked gorgeous. But beyond that, we have no idea. No idea if there are portages, if people get into those lakes. So it's gonna be pretty interesting to find out. Not a bite. No? Oh, fishing, yeah. yeah. I thought you meant the bugs. <laughs> no, that either. No, just a couple floating around, but it's like that mid June. here definitely donated some blood on that one and real thirsty holy cow wasn't supposed to be too hot today but it feels pretty hot right now okay I got a line in Let's see what we got in this lake. Can we get past there? It opens right up into a big lake. Yeah. Do we can you lift over to it? Beauty. It's a two-tiered dam. <laughs> There's a little pond in between this dam and the next one. Hmm. Fish on. Feels pretty small, but I bet it's a little brook trout. Just a gut feeling based on these lakes and my knowledge of the area. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, head shakes, head shakes. Lightly hooked too. Come here. Hooks out. Beauty. Huh. No way. It's actually a lake trout. This is such a small lake. Thanks, buddy. I did not expect it to have the depth for lakers. Hey, it's a lake trout, eh? <laughs> Hard to believe. You were just saying it looks kind of deep. Wow. Uh, one similar to your deep diving little crankbait. Right. It dives down at least 10 feet. Got it on this live target. Really nice, realistic looking lure from Brad at Live Target. Thanks, Brad. Okay. 
Nothing? Uh, give me one second. <laughs> it looks like there might be something. Similar to those other things. Just a little beaver run. Yeah. I'll check down here at the end. Okay. I don't know. Maybe. May it's a it's a maybe. Here we go. We've hardly recorded any of this. It's just been too miserable. It's been a long day. Um, this portage is, is horrendous. Black flies are uh, at maximum level almost. Uh, and we gotta get back over there. We've cleared and we've scouted and cleared it. And uh, I lost my GoPro on it. I'm using my secondary one right now. Uh, but we just need to get there and make camp. Let's just do it. We're taking a breather here. Just complete brutality. This is a horrible portage. Yep. Horrible wow. bugs. Horrible bugs. Horrible, horrible. So I lost my hat on that portage, my GoPro, I almost broke my fishing rod. In addition to crashing the drone earlier, we're ready for camp. I hope, I hope we can find a good one. That would, that's what we need right now. Somewhere nice to relax, set up the bug room. I guess we'll cook steaks even though it's getting late and we're so tired. So tired we could go to bed without dinner, but steaks will go bad. So. Anyway, this lake's looking awesome. Have a look here. That's a spot up on that rock. Really? Well, depending on how how open anything is. Okay. That feels like such a colossal obstacle right now. What? That feels like a colossal obstacle it's right now. <laughs> Just can't take anything else. I looked at it, I thought for sure I could just skirt through it. <laughs> Not to be done. Oh. Trying to find a campsite and that's proven difficult. No good shoreline access and then it's pretty rugged so it's gonna be hard to find a flat spot for Joe to set up. So we're gonna take this little camp here but it's so thick with lab tea and alder. Um, Joe's in the tent so he's gonna have a rough night on some uneven brushy terrain. I'll be in the hammock, but still, it's not a not a good sight. But it's just gonna have to do. Steak time, much reward, much much deserved. Oh my goodness, that looks so good. <laughs> this will make oh. us feel good. Oh my god. Yes, sir. That is perfect. Oh. I was thinking I wouldn't be hungry, but looking at that, <laughs> oh, what a guy, brings the steaks, yeah. absolute hero. I'm not cooking the potatoes though, <laughs> yeah. that's just too much. Oh no, <laughs> it's not happening right now. Maybe we're feeling a little randy tomorrow, <laughs> throw the taters on. But... Joseph's got his cool uh, Lux tent set up here. Not set up as, as he would like, but <laughs> it's 
<laughs> it's very sloping. I feel bad for him. It's not the kind of sleep you want after a day like today. And I've got the hammock and uh, right after dinner, I'm getting right in there. You all right? Yeah. It's really not that bad. It's, it's actually pretty good for cooking. Mm. Oh my god. I know so. You just wafted it. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh! Ooh. Cooking with gas. I don't know that it's good that much. Cheers, buddy. Cheers. Good <laughs> man. What a day. Mm. Sure brought in a couple of beers for us, too. What a guy. <laughs> Oh man, that's well deserved, dude. Mm. That is so good. 10.30. Still a good amount of light. We're near the solstice and, uh, you know, reasonably far north, so. A lot of light. And we needed it tonight, holy cow. Just enough time, just enough. Yeah. It's done, dude. Lovely. Done. Oh, oh. Done, so. Yes. Oh. oh, that tasted good, eh? Oh. That lick. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Mm. That's so well good. So good. Oh, oh. God. oh man. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. I don't hate that. Mmm. Oh, God. Oh. That feels so good. Mm. I even want to eat all the fat. Oh, yeah. It's so good. Sometimes I char it because I like it charred better, the fat. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, the fat on a ribeye, for sure. Soft and buttery. Mm hmm in the wild, that's what the animals go for. Fat? The fat. Yeah. Yeah. It's most valuable. How's that steak working out for you, Jono? Absolutely exceptional. <laughs> it's a, one of the best steaks I've ever had. Nice. A, because I'm so hungry and tired, but it's also just really good. good. good well done. Thank you. Good to hear. Oh, no worries. All right. We're mucking it, as John says. <laughs> Straight sandwich. <laughs> oh man, it's like um, the best thing ever. <laughs> it's really, really, really worthwhile. You got a plate though, you're civilized. <laughs> <laughs> well, look at me, I have a plate. <laughs> no pleasant life out here. <laughs> oh man. Out of this world, pulling back to rule. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, this is camping. Mm -hmm. Like we are, we busted our asses today. Like no, for real. Like when you said, like who else would do? Like I'm sure maybe here and there, but like for the most part, nobody wants. To. Like and I didn't want to do it either. You don't no, get wrong, I didn't like, even. It was it was worse than I expected. I thought it'd be tough. But there's a fine line between challenging and suffering. Yeah, I was really maxed out near that. Yeah, I know, yeah, man. I really was. Like, I'm not even trying to, like... I was worried you are going to have a stroke or... It, it felt like... Exhaustion. It felt like over. that was coming on. Yeah. I don't think I've ever eaten the fat on the steak. Really? Yeah. Uh, the, the ribeyes I always go for the fat. This is helping a lot, though. Yeah, it really is. It's revitalizing. Yeah. Yeah. We need to we need to we need to eat more food today. Big time. Sure. And if we had gone to bed with no food, we'd probably wake up feeling pretty bad too. Pretty stuff, yeah. I agree. Oh, oh. Where are you boy? <laughs> Where are you? Daddy's here. Dude, that's funny. Yeah, just run out of battery or something? Like what was that? Was it on, maybe? <laughs> Hold on. It's right here! <laughs> Look at that. 
Oh, I should have used the voice command. Oh, that would have been genius. I lost another GoPro. It was right here by the fire, but still, man, I am, I'm spent. Uh, not, not too bright. In the hammock, finally. Feels just amazing to kick up my feet and uh, feeling a lot better after staking a beer, thanks to Joe. Super nice of him to bring that. <laughs> How you doing there? I'm all right. How about you? Wonderful. You in bed? Yep. Oh, I'm still, still getting situated. <laughs> it's not wonderful yet. Oh no. Is it really sloping? It's like um, like a banana. Like. Oh no. Yeah, like a like a like a saggy hammock. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, it is uh, rugged here. There's nothing flat for his tent. I will definitely live, and I guarantee I will sleep just fine. <laughs> yeah, I'm sleeping without the fly tonight for the first time. Stars are popping out. It's uh, it's almost midnight. We had light till 11 p.m. Thankfully, we really needed it. And uh, it's supposed to be pretty cool overnight. Hopefully I don't get wet with dew. But uh, I'm just gonna make dew. Good night. an absolute beauty start to the day. Uh, I'm on the hunt for my hat and my GoPro, which I, both of which I lost yesterday on the portage. So if I could find those, I'd be feeling really good. It's not just the GoPro, but losing lots of footage on it is pretty uh, hard to get over, but maybe I'll find it. We were thinking I could use the voice commands and say, GoPro turn on, and it'll beep, 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 beep. But uh, I think that feature turns off after eight hours without use, so I don't think that'll work. But it's going to be, you know, somewhere in all the bushwhacking we did, I, even if it was open, that would be tough to retrace my steps and find it exactly. But um, with all the brush there, it's, it's a needle and a haystack. I think the odds are pretty bad. Maybe I'll find the hat. Anyway, it should be a much better day today. We just have to get into one lake. We would have stayed here two nights, but the campsite is just uh, terrible. There's just no good place to camp here, especially for Joe's tent. The hammock is really a huge advantage here in the boreal forest. It's just so rugged and wild. It's a jungle. Still feel pretty beat up from yesterday, but much better after that steak. Just so nice of Joe to bring along with the beer. He helped me look for my GoPro yesterday in the portage when we had nothing left in the tank. He brought me up a lawnmower on his way up here because they're out of stock here and I accidentally borrowed and destroyed my neighbor's lawnmower so I had to replace it. So I owe Joe a big favor. He's a really good guy. The thought of going back to clearing right now into the next lake is it's a bit tough. Hands are just incredibly raw, feet, <clears throat> body overall, but um, we have to. We have to get to a better camp so we can enjoy this trip properly.
I don't know if the camera will pick this up, but the sun is just radiating off the water and bouncing into the trees and rocks. Oh, wow, what a morning. This is bringing me back to, you know, forgetting the pain and realizing how much I love this. Okay, starting out the hunt. Where do I start looking? We bushwhacked everywhere, looking for a good trail. I know the last place I had the GoPro was up on the hill up there. I took a shot, I remember. So I'll start up there, and then we uh, kind of scaled down some cliffs almost to get back down. That might be where it fell out. I climbed up this hill, and it's a pretty amazing view. But I can't even find where we looked out last time, where I took that shot. Just found this sod log, so we probably came through here. It's a good lead. I'm onto our trail now. I distinctly remember this mushroom because it's like a plate. I told Joe you could eat off of it. So I'm on the trail. GoPro turn on. GoPro turn on. GoPro turn on. Calling it quits. Searched for a good two hours, if not three. <clears throat> no sign of either. The hat, I'm not even sure. Maybe I lost it on the last portage. The GoPro, I know where it was, where I had it last, and it was on this one. Oh man. But uh, we gotta get back we got to clear into the next lake. But I'm gonna lie down for a few minutes first. I'm already gassed. Still have this GoPro, the Hero 6, uh, but the audio is a lot worse on it, so it'll do. It's just the footage. It's the footage I want back. And my hat. <laughs> it's gonna be really sunny. It's supposed to be really sunny this trip. Uh, it'll be, it would be nice to have the shade. I'll miss it. But Anyway, moving on. Show must go on. Morning. Over oh 2. Yep. Just two, three hours of bushwalking with the bugs. Just to get my hopes up and let them fall. It's alright. I'm already moving on. I have another GoPro, the audio is not as good. I lost the footage, I no longer have a hat. Could be worse. It's all good. We can make a video, we can, like that, that footage you had was awesome, I know that. If you're clearing all this stuff. Yeah, it's uh, hard to, hard, a lot harder to tell the story now of getting in here. I set up a drop box, I can just drop all my footage and pick and choose. Much appreciate that. We have a visitor. I don't know what it is, but it's not scared of me and it's big. Really? Yeah. At the site? Yeah. You heard it in the bushes? For a good hour. No way. I was yelling and throwing rocks in the bush. You're kidding. No, I've never had this experience. I kind of actually got weak knee for a minute. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I waited. Like, I didn't just bail. I didn't leave and leave our food there and stuff. I waited and waited and waited and nothing like accelerated, like nothing happened. But it was grunting and coming pretty close. Wow. And like I could hear it like, like breathing like heavily like the ground, like like maybe like flipping things over and like I don't know. It, wow. It seemed berry. Bear or moose. Or moose. -y. Yeah. Wow. But and big enough where it was making the brush around it move and it was probably Wow. Just right behind me. Holy cow. The Sasquatch believers are going to have a field day. Oh, Sam Squatch. Then I had to do my business. Oh. So that was fun. Oh, no. Yeah. 
that's that's concerning especially out here the bears out and and uh, moose out here you know they don't encounter people much and they usually run exactly. they're not habituated exactly. at all that's why I'm, I would prefer to camp in places like this than like on the park. Yeah. But um, may, who knows? Maybe it was a beaver and it was just making a water racket. But I, I, I'm ninety percent sure, man, it was something big. Yeah, if it was grunting. It was like a like a like a, I can hear it though. It's probably still there. Unless like, it was a big otter. They otters have that like nasally. <laughs> scary no matter what like because you don't know yeah and that's where i like banged pots and pans and yelled wow yeah you record oh yeah i got it all nice yeah. I'm Perfect. Sure, actually you probably be able to hear I, I really hope that the microphone picks it up the, this. oh nice yeah hope so just resting here in the hammock for a few minutes and then i'll get lunch on <laughs> I'm not gonna sleep and uh, Joe had some kind of an animal encounter while I was gone. Something was just over there in the bush snorting. Um, if it was snorting then that makes me think bear, moose, or even an otter. And an otter is a big enough animal that if it's moving around through the bush it could make some noise. <clears throat> so could be that but uh, it could be a bear so we gotta be watchful while we're here. Oh, I'm getting bit. There. But after we eat, then we can get back uh, back to work and get into the lake we really want to be on. And if we can find a good site there, we'll be feeling really good. Back to Portage in here, I'm trying to work into the next lake. Joe's going to sc scout that side of the creek, I'll scout this side, see which has a better path. This seems to be the most direct route into the next lake though, up this creek. Not down. <laughs> oh my! <laughs> yep, that's a foot of mud. <laughs> We're almost there. This is what we busted our butts for yesterday. This is just a little fragment of the lake. We're gonna have to find somewhere to better to access it, but oh, it feels good to be here. Now this is a poop. It's uh, it's like leathery. Joe was saying maybe it was a uh, mucus plug. Thing yeah, thing. like post winter first poop. It is so thick. Look, it's on the log here and over there. It's like. You couldn't contain himself. <laughs> Understandably. <laughs> I am stuck here. Dropped a bit of gear. Try and loosen my feet. There was one. <sighs> oh man. <sighs> you camping now? <laughs> you stuck? Nice.
I feel a little nauseous. I'm gonna go for a dip. Right now. Yeah, okay. Here's my yeah. yeah. Oh. Drops off. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah, that'll wake you up. <laughs> Oh, You're a new man. Oh my. Oh, it's cold. Very cold. Oh, oh it's hot. ice cold. Wow. How can it be this hot? It is cold in here. Oh, that's not bad, much better than ice out. Sun's cooling down. We finally made it to this lake, which hopefully is really special, and more than anything we just hope it has a nice place to camp. That dip in the water did me a world of good. My body temperature is plummeting right now. It went from way too hot to now I'm almost cold. There's a, there's a breeze too blowing blowing on me with all this cold water, So, but it feels good. I'm really happy I jumped in there. This is just the start of the lake here that we can see, and then it, it continues on quite a ways down. It's in the long skinny lake. Can't wait to see what it's all about. It was clear that people get into that first lake that we went into, the first portage. Beyond there, it, there have been trails, kind of, but more likely game trails than anything else. So, uh, the last lake was probably hardly ever visited. This one, I'm betting just about never, unless people fly in. Yet again, just nowhere to camp. Thick boreal forest, rugged, undulating terrain, everywhere. No refuge for the damned. That was a bit dramatic. There's a couple stones there which will make a nice, uh, you know, first pieces of a fire pit. Yeah. Lots of exposed rock. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it'll do. Sick. That's gonna do. Right in the middle of the lake too, that's nice. Good view. Just scraped by. It'd be easy to say this wasn't gonna work, but yeah, we just just put ourselves in these little spots. Yeah. It's just gonna work out. Ah, <sighs> feels good. So we're getting set up here. Spots we're gonna work out nicely, just barely. We just barely fit into it. Joe can get lie down here flat. The tent's not gonna be a perfect setup, but at least you'll have a flat place to lay down. And then we didn't think we were going to be able to hang the hammock here, but I'm working off of two trees. Even this first one is surprisingly strong. The two of them together are going to be plenty. That one there is nice and strong. And that's quite a view. Things are looking up. Okay, here's the moment of truth. Is it going to hold this tree, these two little trees? Yep, I'm gonna have to get it higher though, because I'm sinking. But it seems to be holding my weight fine, that's good. Oh, these are manly sounds I'm making! Oh, God! That's like. Oh, oh, that's ice. It's actually a nice place to swim there. What? That's a nice place to swim. 
good little jumping spot. I can't even stand here. No, no, oh, it drops off. It's cold, man. Yeah. Oh, oh, that is a good little jumping spot. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh, <laughs> dude. I told you, eh? Yeah. It's weird. Oh. It's weirdly cold. Oh. Oh. So I'm over there. Joe's set up here. He's got a fire going. Do you? Uh, yeah. Oh, bush buddy. Yeah. Nice. Up some uh, chili tonight. Right on. I'm a hungry boy. <laughs> Pretty nifty. Having a little liquid bread for dinner. Stomach's not feeling so great, uh, so I'm not hungry yet. All I really want to do is lie down, so this is pretty nice. Beer and my feet up. That's what I need right now. I wasn't planning on sleeping all evening, but uh, I just fell asleep for two hours. Joe's been out fishing for a good chunk of that. No bites. It's just hard to believe. I've been dying to get to this lake and fish it. And now we're here and <laughs> nothing. What a stupidly nice evening though. have this fire in between these two big rocks. Good spot for it. Cleared out all the lichen and everything. It's crazy the temperature change. Just like a matter of like an hour. Went from overheating to about to put on a sweater. That feels nice. Yeah, that looks awesome. It's better. Shit. Damn you. Let's kill my shot. <laughs> I invented this sunset sunset shot. <laughs> it was shrimpy. She. <laughs> Got a big bucket of pasta tonight. Rehydrated sauce and some parmesan. Oh, you brought the parmesan. Oh, yeah. Nice. Oh, it smells good. A little hot sauce, too. It's gonna be good. It's like 10 o'clock now, probably. I'm getting to bed at 11.30, despite uh, being so tired. Just light out so late and had a nap and then made dinner and then suddenly it's 11.30. So hopefully a good long sleep tonight.
um, rest the body, uh, recover a little bit. Muscles are just are just uh, like trembling, shaking. Legs are uh, so weak when I try to walk uphill. Uh, it wasn't easy getting here. Uh, so hopefully a good night of rest to uh, get ready for tomorrow. Oh boy, here we go again. That's daunting. It is, man. That's a, that's a hell of a lot of pork on it, bro. Oh. Only three ports and it feels like so much. Is it three to where we're going or two to where we're going? Well, three because the one's broken up by the spawn. By the pond. Yeah, it's yeah. definitely three then. <laughs> it's three. Yeah. Having some curry for breakfast this morning, veggie curry. I didn't pack any breakfasts on this trip. I'm usually just not that stoked about breakfast, so wanted to eat lunch. The bottom side does not look like the top side. <laughs> <laughs> You didn't see anything. <laughs> <laughs> GoPro just fell out of this big pocket, which is where I lost the first one because it wasn't zipped up. I almost just did it again, and it could have just rolled down into the water. I'm a complete idiot. It's early in the morning. That's true. Thank you. So in this veggie curry, I've got potatoes, chickpeas, black beans, a little carrot, and uh, some lentils. Hot. <laughs> it's a little too hot, but delicious. Mm. So I've been trying to get to this, wanting to get to this lake for two years. Finally busted in here. It was hard as hell, and we're leaving immediately. It's not uh, all, uh, the irony is not lost on us. That's for sure. <laughs> it's painful. So we're gonna start working back to lakes that we have more confidence in the fishing. It's a beautiful lake, I'm really happy we got here, don't get me wrong, but there's no fishing pressure here. There's absolutely no indication of human occupancy here. There's not a camp carved out. If people were coming in here, even flying in to fish, there would be a shore lunch, shore lunch camp somewhere. Yeah. There's nothing. Not a fire scar anywhere. No. Um, so, I, I'm just not, we're not feeling positive about the fishing. So it's, uh, it's time to head back and uh, hopefully find better luck on the lakes that we, we started on. Mm, a long journey. And they were equally beautiful too, so it's not like we're giving up beauty here. We'll get both, hopefully, fishing and scenery. I'll hold you to that one. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we know there's one fish over there. There's one fish, yeah. <laughs> Getting my wet suit, shoes and socks back on. And uh, that's always a cold thing in the morning, but sitting on the rock where we were having our fire and it's beautifully heated. It's like a seated heat, it feels so nice. On the first lake we got to, we were hoping to camp two nights there because of how hard it was to get there again getting here we hope to camp two nights we've had the let's camp two nights here exhaustion but we haven't had the let's camp here two nights feeling like we really want to so we're still searching for that trolling shallow, trolling deep. I'm now casting a little clue, letting it fall, and just jigging it back to surface. No idea what's in here, so it's so tough. If anything, 
It must be though. It must be fish. It's poor fish. It's gonna be hard to leave this place without knowing if we don't get anything. Joe and I both had snags, which excited us greatly for about half of a second. Really missing the hat. Almost more than the GoPro. Keeps the sun off, but uh, I'm also on film for now several days without a hat with, uh, with bedhead, so. Tell me I'm pretty. We're back at the portage. This one's going to be brutal. Last time we came up through the bog and then down this hill. Now we have to go up the steep hill and then through the bog. It's a bad one, really bad. Taking the canoe first alone. No other gear, because this is just too steep. Back to some boot sucking fun. I can't even take the first step. It's all just pure mud. Oh my. <sighs> One portage down, two to go. Stopping for a little lunch at our, uh, our first camp. Which feels like so like home somehow. Especially for you. Joe did that portage on one pancake. <laughs> one pancake Joe. <laughs> That's your syrup. Bouncing off my feet. Oh man. I'm not gonna hurt you. This is a crazy number of little fish here. Might be suckers. Still don't know for sure. I don't fish with sucker minnows, so I don't know what they look like. Look at that. Joe took his canoe into the bush to get it out of the way and I thought he carried on but uh, I just got to the end of the port and he's not here so hopefully he's uh, not far. Oh no! Up the hill? So that doesn't make any sense. Oh no. <laughs> oh I thought you were ahead of me the whole time so I got to the end thinking I was going to catch you. Oh. Did you go to the end end of the pond? Yeah, the end. Yeah. Well, the pond, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good. Oh. That's all right. It's okay. Except for my canoe is now up a hill that never needed to be done. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, from when I was uh, by my canoe, I thought I heard like a noise, like a canoe bang up the hill. Definitely. I was like, what was that? <laughs> I thought it was a gunshot or something, actually. For Cash <laughs> Joe, friggin' far for the course. <laughs> <laughs> How far is it to the from here? Uh. Good haul? Yeah. 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 You're close to halfway, I'd say. I'm gonna leave my stuff here. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Doesn't surprise me. Bonus. Like two up the hill. Like we must have come that way one time because there's a. There's a trail. Stuff. I know. Freshly cut. I'm like, oh, for sure this is. A yep. <laughs> I know. That's the thing. That's why it's so easy to get lost. Not only is it thick bush, but we cut trails in various places and then decided to abandon them yep. because they turned out to be just walls. Right. It was okay. Once we hit the stream too, I was a little iffy, but. I you got it. You got it. You got it. 
little bonus energy expenditure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you have tons in the tank. <laughs> this one, might as well use it. I wore off that freaking little raffle, I'll tell you that one. <laughs> Back to trail three and four. <sighs> Two down, one to go for today. So I've never had a pack boat, always wanted to try one. So nice to portage, I gotta get one of these. This is awesome. I can throw it over my shoulder like normal and cool people do. Oh. Back to that first lake where I got the lake trout. So we have some hope for fishing again. It's a beautiful lake, we never should have left. This is why travel has been so tough. We're not only bushing th bushwhacking through this stuff, but through these hills. They're rugged. Wind is really up today, but it's nice. It's keeping the bugs off, keeping us cool. We're just trying to find camp on this lake now, and it looks thick as ever along the shoreline. So I guess we'll be scratching something out of nothing again. This might be all right. Joe's ever there looking for a site too. He's taking that shoreline, I'm taking this one. And the main thing we need is an opening like this for Joe to get his tent down. That looks all right. I just have to get over this. Get around. Oh, no, it goes that way too. Okay, one sec. This is pretty good. I'm gonna call him over. I don't think we'll do better than this. Hey, Joe! Joe! It's not bad here! It's a real good time to have a pack boat fighting against this wind. <laughs> We've dubbed this trip camp failure. <laughs> There's little trees hanging over here, clinging to life, but it's evidently been that way for quite a while because check out this tree that it's leaning against. It's backlit, so it's hard to see, yeah. but uh, it's, it's worn out a groove. It's whittled it down. It's pretty amazing. So we're gonna cut that hanging one down so it's not hanging over our camp and give this poor tree some relief. It's had a thorn in its side for probably a good decade. Bermuda, Bahamas, <laughs> come on pretty mama. Frequency that made it fall. The brown noise. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. When we get into the scotch tonight, I could see some potential Kokomo duet going oh, on. Oh sir, on film. <laughs> As you can see, I've got some new fresh clothes on. Feels great. Um, 
Reason is, Joe and I are hitting the cocktail bar tonight. Spruce Lounge. Uh, so I gotta shape up. Look good. You gotta spruce up. Spruce up. It was on the tip of my tongue. <laughs> Still got the bed head, but uh, you know, some ladies really like that. Disheveled look. Too bad for them. I'm taken. Got my errand back home. Irresistible by Calvin Klein. This is more like it. This is what we needed after the last few days. The sun is very warm, the breeze is cool. So comfortable and the bugs are banished. This feels really good. Joe brought a hammock for just chilling in on this trip, getting away from the bugs, but he's gonna sleep in it tonight. Yeah, so I'm going without the fly again tonight, um, which is the first, these are the first times I've ever gone without the fly, and it's just been magical. You fall asleep looking at the stars, and you wake up, and there are stars again, so I'm into that. The, for, the forecast isn't calling for any rain. It's, it's one thing we've had amazing luck on on this trip, is, uh, is the weather. It's been phenomenal. One of many things I really appreciate about this hammock is the storage. Just being able to stuff things in here, like so. Little holders, you can put a beer in there, cell phone, and GoPro in pouches like this. You can also put stuff back in here. There's a, a game on here or something, I don't know. This is from Norway. Maybe this is a Sudoku kind of thing. I have no idea what it is. I have to find out. I'm very curious. Or up here, I can throw my water bottle up in there. Yeah, that's so nice. This is magic. Magic. Got a million dollar view. I'm in here. And Joe's over here, he's gonna sleep in the hammock. He's got a nice little setup with his tarp. Open on the one side. Some moose poop. I've seen moose poop, moose tracks everywhere. It's almost shocking we haven't seen one. And a great view for him too. I can hear my oil starting to pop. I could test it with some water, but I'm sure it's good to go. Put in my popcorn. Actually, the oil could have been a little hotter, but it'll be all right. It's not rocket science. It's not rocket appliances, Julian. <laughs> wow. See, hit a hit a flashpoint there. Just stuff started happening. You can hear it. Yep. There she goes. She's rocking. Stand back. Go the oil back. <laughs> It's a little scary. It seems like something that's about to explode like a rock violently. <laughs> shoots up into the sky. And eventually, if, if you put too much in, it'll like pop off the lid. But this lid is actually on very tightly, so it won't. It's all warped. 
Oh, oh just there you go. Pop, pop, <laughs> <laughs> and as soon as the popping starts to slow, about now, you might get a few more kernels if you leave it on, but you might also burn your entire batch, so it's, it's not, not worth it. it. Right, yeah. Okay. Have a look. Uh, oh my, that looks. I have butter. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that looks amazing. Ah. Uh, That's crazy cool. Actually, it's super hot. The yeah. oil on it. The oil kind of butters it. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. It looks like I see it like glistening. Yeah. Try some. Okay. It's pretty good. It's awesome for camping. I'm telling you, it it's so much better with the salt and vinegar powder, but no doubt. Or whatever you know, whatever your fancy is. Right. Extra Ketchup. Salt. Sour cream and onion. Um. Mayo chop. <laughs> <laughs> That'll impress my kid. Supper time. Oh yeah. <laughs> Well, we were chilling around the fire, which was a Bush Buddy stick stove, for an hour and a half, two hours probably, and finally decided the wind had calmed down enough to go fishing. So we're going to try and turn our luck around. Get these bugs off me first by paddling into the wind here. It's still definitely breezy. I'm itchy. We're very happy with our camp. We've had a, a sense of um, peace there that we really haven't had on this trip at all, so it's really, really nice. We're gonna try and find some stones too to make a fire on because it's just not safe to do it in there. You could burn down into the roots of the trees, which are shallow rooted around here, and uh, cause a fire that way, which is which would be a disaster. So if we can get some good flat stones, take them home, set them up there, then we can have a little fire there. There's a good one. It's thicker than it originally She's looked. Dick. <laughs> Brody, little Cleo. Can't yeah, go works. wrong. Yeah. No, we actually can't go wrong. <laughs> yeah, we can't do any worse. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're on the leeward side of the lake now. We're going to go back into the breeze and let it drift us down lake and let some little Cleos fall deep. Just bomb them out. Let it fall, 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 fall and then just rip jig it back to the surface. And we're hoping there are lake trout here. There were in this adjacent small lake where I got the one, so it's our best lead. Other than that, we have no idea what species are in here, which is always a handicap, but we figure there should be lakers in here. Got a nice sun dog there. Beautiful. Went beautiful last night. Great night though. Did you see the sun dog? No, I missed it. Yeah. No. Alright, so we gotta put uh, the, the biggest rock, biggest flattest rock we have down first. To make uh, to make sure we keep it up off the ground, so start with that guy and build around it. It's right here, I think so. Yeah. yeah. How's that? Yeah, I think that's great. Just have to puzzle piece it in and build it up a bit. Let's see, uh, 
chimney stone we could rig up somehow. This might work. Yeah, we could do that. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. It's pretty, pretty, pretty weak. That's pretty right. small, but. But this one too. We got what we got now. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. It's gonna work good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I tasted that one. <laughs> Ugh. <It's> like chicken. <laughs> all right, that looks all right, eh? Yeah. Not too shabby. I could burn stuff on that. Yeah, yeah. it'll burn stuff. It'll make some ash. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. <laughs> oh yeah, one spark. That's pretty nice. slick. Nice to have this fire, the bugs are staying down now. They were pretty bad before. We've got four liters of water here and more water around us. In the event that something goes wrong, this is still not our ideal fire situation, but we've made it as safe as, as possible. And we're gonna douse this once, we, uh, once we're done for the night. We saturated in between too. Yeah, already. Joe even poured uh, water underneath already. So uh, we, we really feel like it is safe. But we'll douse it fully after anyway, as always. Mm -hmm. I was just gonna. <laughs> Cheers, my friend. Cheers, big guy. Thanks for sticking out this one. It's been yeah. a nightmare, but you've been a good sport. Oh, you too, man. <laughs> You're a trooper. Uh, this is a much needed evening. Oh, well, you know what we were saying before? Send it like, off, right? Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. End it off with like yeah. chill. And mm -hmm. We said before this trip, we didn't know. You know what I mean? Like we were talking about when we did that day thing. It's like you don't know how you're gonna, how it's gonna go with someone on the first trip For or anything sure. like that. And it's I think a this is this is a hard enough, not like not hard and like we had to like battle crazy weather or, but just nothing really went ideally. You know what I mean? No, it was a hard trip. Okay. The only thing that was not hard was the weather. Right. The weather yeah. was perfect. That's true. The bugs were pretty brutal the first day. Bugs were bad. This is as bad bushwhacking. For a portage as you'll find really right. i mean we're going up and down hills through thick boreal forest mm -hmm. with uh swarms of bugs that's right. that's as bad as it gets yeah <clears throat> yeah we both did fine like we kept each other going it was exactly we both we both provided a bit of a lift now and then you know mm -hmm. just someone saying something optimistic right even if we didn't fully believe it. Well, of course, <laughs> which is, and we both knew that. <laughs> yeah, for sure, buddy. No, it was good, man. It was yep. good. Yeah, yeah if we can survive this trip, we could survive almost any. <laughs> <laughs> no, happy to have done it, man. It was, uh, yeah. you know, it was good. It was good to get out and knock it off your bucket list and, or your list yes, anyways to, exactly. to know what's back here. And I have that and I have this evening. And that's part Perfect. of it. That was part of the, it was the mission. It was like a recon mission. This yeah. Trip, really, like to see exactly. what's out here. And... Exactly. No. And we, we, mission accomplished. We did it. Don't ever come back. No. <laughs> 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 Only way I would come back is for amazing fishing. Not even good fishing. If you find good fishing, lots of places, a lot easier to get to. Mm -hmm. but obviously, we don't have that. Nice. See, that's, that's what you want. To do it all right, for, right off the hop? Yep. Once you put them in, if they start popping like almost right away, that's good. And you know your oil was hot enough. Okay, cool. Pretty burnt? Uh, the bottom is. It's okay. Mm, yeah, it'll, it'll all taste burnt. I would oh, burn right. that one. Okay. Call it a trial. Okay, so what? <laughs> just dump her. Just dump her. All right. Right in the fire. Oh. I didn't put enough in. <laughs> oh, they came all out in one. That's not nice. bad. A couple little charred pieces in there. But... <laughs> Take two. Got a wicked pizza craving. Oh, man. Why did you say that? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I make non calzones out here. What is that? Like, you know, non bread? Yes. So you just 
toast it a little, fill it up with whatever pizza toppings you like, including pizza sauce and cheese, of course, and then fold it over, keep toasting it again, flip it. It's so good. It sounds phenomenal. It is so good. Oh, I'm sorry. Like, my thing, like, when I get out, I, like, of, like, a big trip, it's, like, stuffed crust and a oh, freaking Alexander Keith is my, like, yeah? jam. Yeah? Yeah. That's my <laughs> go-to, like, like, not even a steak, just a straight stuffed crust. No. Just greasy. No. Oh. No, no, no. A steak's too clean, yeah. <laughs> it's gotta be greasy. <laughs> There's, yeah, we usually like a burger. Yeah. Oh yeah, a burger's a good idea too. A greasy burger with fries. Yeah, a greasy burger. That. Yeah, they're already sizzling. Yep. I kind of got smoke in my eyes. I couldn't see if that was very full or not. <laughs> I think that's the same one. It'll do. I, I think it's the same one I put in. Oh honestly. boy. <laughs> <laughs> Making popcorn. Okay. Fast, eh? Yeah, like I'm scared. It's going. You're good. You're good. Now? The lid, no. The leave it on? No. It's, it's, the lid's going to come off soon. Once the lid starts coming off, grab it. If it gets to that point. Man, I think it's... Okay, grab it. Grab ah! it. <laughs> Just so it doesn't burn. Now open the top so it can uh, cool. Oh! It burned it. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I'm eating it. Oh, this is what's happening. Man. I'm eating it. How, though? I think the fire's too hot right now. Yeah, it is raging, isn't it? Yeah. Right. We're going to eat it. And we're going to put freaking Montreal steak spice on it, too. Oh, my. <laughs> A whole new world. Just open oh, your yeah. eyes, Chuck. <laughs> it's my favorite soundtrack. Actually, maybe Beauty and the Beast. Oh my goodness! Tough call. I never Disney soundtrack. That is. Never seen that movie until my daughter was around, and now I can quote it. <laughs> Beauty and the Beast. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the new one with uh, Emma Watson. Uh, not so much as the cartoon one. Really interesting. Yeah. I, I would have thought she'd be more into the new one. No, she's uh, but Gaston is a prince. Oh man, such a good character though. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, I mentioned the pizza craving and before you knew it we were eating cheesy garlic bread. <laughs> Look at that. Oh yeah. I just fried the cheese a little. Extra flavor. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's all intact too, so bonus. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> you put your thumb on it, I don't care. It doesn't matter. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for the approval. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Oh, man. I gotta film this. This is freaking mouth watering. You want some Montreal steak spice? <laughs> I might put a piece of salami on there, to be honest with you. Oh, that's a Do you good want that? Idea. Let's do that. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's more pizza y. We're getting more pizza y. <laughs> Bam. Look at that. We are not peasants out here, I will tell you. <laughs> All right, this is the closest to pizza we're gonna get. We got garlic bread, salami, sriracha. I don't know why I'm talking like that. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna fold it. Ooh, calzone. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh man. I'm diving in. Bro. With fried cheese too. <laughs> oh man. This is to die for. That's good living. I like mm. this though. I like this a lot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like this is worth a lot right now. <laughs> and we'll go get some more. Going without the fly last night almost cost me. I woke up to this mist on my face. 
scrambled and got it on and that, that stopped that that was nothing but then later on probably an hour or two later got a little sprinkle so it's a good thing I got up and, and put it on no harm done I thought I heard thunder in the distance this morning and from the look of that cloud there that's very possible I believe there was a chance today hopefully that we're not going to deal with that Right? <laughs> In the wind and everything. <laughs> it's freaking syrup bay. It's a salt bay over here. <laughs> Just let it like ooze down your forearm. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get the dehydrated pasta sauce in there now. I should drain the pasta, it's gonna be starchy, but whatever. Oh, there's some thunder in the distance. Ah, breakfast. Do that a few times. Make sure this one is out, out. Oh God. Thunder, loons, breeze, fire crackling. Some nice noises. ASMR overload. Alright, camp is packed up and it's time to get out of here. It's been a great little camp. Really enjoyed it. Very nice camp. Yeah. Beautiful view. Loon's calling this morning. Made uh, made a, a safe fire pit. So worked out fantastic. So we're throwing up a Hail Mary pass here, going back to that first lake where I got the one lake trout. And then that's it. So hoping that this lake will be kind to us once more. Just one or two. Just one or two. One for Joe, one for me. That's all. We're not greedy. No. Two, three. Let's get some fish. <laughs> There's a woodpecker wailing on a tree over there. Can't see it. It's got a hurt. 
hurt. fish on right as I was getting back to the end of the lake pretty much the same place I caught the last one this one seems bigger I would say definitely bigger definitely bigger this could be a decent trout Just get eyes on him. Oh, oh, it's a nice lake trout. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Head shakes, head shakes, right at the boat. Shoot, shoot. I want to get him in the net as soon as possible, or keep him down so I can keep the rod bent like this. Did you get to the boat? That gets really hard. Yes. No, no. Oh, so much, so much. Yes, yes. Wow, that was a battle. As you can see, I broke my net too. Another, yet another casualty of this trip. Let me get this guy dealt with. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Wow, chaos. Don't even have my pliers out because it's been so long that we've had to dealt with a fish. Ooh, I had to deal with a fish. Oh, wow. Oh, the hook was out all along. Okay, wet my hands here. Yes. Salvation. Okay, I'm gonna let him go right away. Thank you, dude. Thank you so much. Oh, we needed that. Oh, same spot as I caught the last one on this uh, live target emerald shiner with an ounce of lead here to get it deeper. You can't do this one like lures that have a, a lip, like crankbaits. But uh, this, the action's in the back of the tail, so it doesn't matter. So that's a nice way to get deep, deeper and troll. Oh man, did we need that? Oh, yes. It's too late for a shore lunch now. We gotta get out of here and get Joe home. So it's time to get going. Cool. Joe has about six hours more driving than me. He was very kind to to come all this way when it's only an hour drive for me. So we need to get back to the car ASAP so he can start that drive. Man, that felt so good. After two full days without a fish, this is day four. On day one was the one smaller fish. Just uh, exactly the conclusion that I wanted. Nice, solid four pound lake trout, if not five. It was good and chunky. Oh, yeah. But now we have the original 1.2 kilometer portage, which is fairly rough, and then a long port, uh, paddle into what seems like it's going to be a headwind on a lake that has notoriously bad winds on days when the wind is up. So we're not out of the woods yet. Out of the woods, back to the pond. Still two thirds of the way left to go, though. How are there no moose here? First load is across. This is our last port. Last of our grueling ports. We've done five kilometers of bushwhack portages. Double carried and cleared. Five kilometers it would be a single carry. With clearing, double carries, and walking back for the second load, I can only guess how much bushwhacking we've done a good half of it with a heavy load. Whew. It's gonna feel awesome to get to the other end. Where we might have a grueling paddle. <laughs> We're almost back. The entire trip, 
you're thinking that it's in the back of your head that we have to come back this whole way. And we're finally done that. Feels great. It looks like there's white caps ahead and pretty strong winds. So this is gonna be a rough paddle back to the launch. I think it's a good four or five kilometers. Oh boy. As soon as we, as we get around this point, I think it's gonna be nasty, especially by the cliffs. If I know this lake, it's gonna be rough. Oh, taking a little break here. I'm leeward behind this rock. The wind is brutal. This is where Joe, uh, Joe's pack boat really excels. Just uh, cuts through the wind so much better because he's in the middle of the boat. It's not so rockered and he's got the double blades so you can paddle on both sides against the wind. Well, I'm just gonna embrace it. Uh, it's, it'll be a good workout. It's fitting for this trip and it's gonna make dinner and my bed feel extra good tonight. So back to it. People always say that I should kneel. I can't do it, it just kills my legs. So I just tack diagonally instead. I paddle hard on, hard on one side, I get maybe 15, 20 strokes in, and then I switch sides once I get turned the other way, and just do another 15, 20 hard strokes. I've got a nice short paddle here, so I can easily switch over. For me, that's the best approach. All right, I'm in the last sheltered spot for a little while now. It's gonna be a long paddle, exposed to the wind now. Here we go. I hate to leave. I'm just getting in my, well, my groove. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Finally back at the access point and uh, I sent Joe on ahead because uh, he was in the pack boat and he could just get here so much faster and start his six or seven hour drive home. I have only got an hour drive home and I just want to thank him for uh, Joe. Thanks for uh, enduring this one with me. It would have been awful alone. It was truly, a, it was a brutal trip. One of the most difficult trips I've done and probably the shortest, the, the most difficult short trip that I've done four days but every day was grueling and the funny thing is the weather was perfect usually if you have a horrible grueling trip the weather is a big factor in that no it was no factor in it it was just a very difficult trip but we got to see some places that almost no one ever sees uh, and uh, and that's enough on this trip it was awesome hopefully Joe will be up for another trip but I suspect he's gonna want to pick the next one which I will definitely agree to. Uh, and I've got a trip in a few days, so it's time to replace some gear, rest up, and get ready for the next one. It's great to be back out here. <laughs> uh, style points, Joe. Told him to leave the rod holder somewhere. That's pretty creative.